Hey, what's up friends? Good to see you guys. Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. If you're new here, my posture's terrible. <laughs> my name is Mark Hopkins. I am a uh, guitarist, singer, songwriter based in Baltimore, Maryland, and also have a YouTube channel here, obviously, because you ended up here. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look really fast at my Two Rock Studio signature. Now, uh, I'm going to put everything flat on this because the reason I'm doing this video today is to uh, address questions that I get a lot from folks about how I set up my studio signature. Um, people say all the time, like, oh man, it's so loud, I can't get it to be, you know, usable in the home, blah, blah, blah. The master studio, the master studio, <laughs> the master on the studio signature is really usable. I have it pretty low right now, and I keep it pretty low when I'm playing at home. Um, I, it might only get up to like nine o'clock uh, to compete with the drummer. I mean, it's 35 watts, so it's a loud amp. But it's very usable at home. I do it all the time. Every week when I do demos, I use this specific amp. Now, I have it right now in a combo. Right behind me over here, there's an empty head and a two, or 112 cabinet that I swap the chassis in and out sometimes. If I want to go to a gig with the head and the cab, I do that. If I want to go with the combo, I do that. So, Which is very easy to do to kind of get those in and out. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you when I come downstairs and I set it up for videos and, and stuff, like how do I use it? Um, there is a gain structure switch toggle just like these on the back. That's a three position switch. The bottom position is like a black panel fender. Think like deluxe old school vintage fender amps. Middle one is the Matt Schofield setting, which is actually my favorite. I use that over all three. Um, the top one is the two rock traditional uh, gain structure. So I'm leaving it in the Matt Schofield right now. I might at the end, if I remember, I'll, I'll flip it down and, and uh, up so we can kind of hear the difference. But ultimately speaking, I uh, got a 57 on it. Uh, that's all we have on it, nothing else. Uh, I'm gonna turn off this compressor. I have a compressor on my board that I usually leave on um, all the time, but I am not going to do that. Right now, we're just gonna hear the amp. Just the guitar's going through the pedal board and the amp. I might turn on some dirt or something later. We'll see. Um, but ultimately, let's just kind of tweak knobs. Everything is flat right now. Gain, treble, middle, bass, all flat. I'm gonna leave the presence where it is. This is usually where I like it. It's my sweet spot. Um, but it does, the presence does a lot, man. If you turn that up, it really gets focused and punchy, um, which is cool. But um, let's do this. I'm gonna start just playing clean and stuff, and then we'll crank up the gain, turn it down, turn it up, and then I'll mess with the EQ and these um, bright middle and deep switches first and foremost. Here we go, I'm gonna shut up.
So right off the bat, you know, I the way that I like this amp set up is I like the gain right around here. So it's like kind of a smidge hairy. And I'm talking a smidge. Like, it's pretty darn clean right now. Listen to this. Pretty darn clean um, and I like that because when I use the compressor if I'm playing slide or if I'm playing some funky stuff um, you know that uh, Wampler Mino, Mini Ego compressor is my favorite compressor it really is subtle and sweet and adds some sustain for slide but it keeps things nice and clean um, that I can really get funky with it so anyway that is great about this amp. Um, these switches make a big difference. The deep is great if you're gonna crank this thing and get the high headroom John Mayery thing. That deep really focuses the bottom end so it doesn't get flabby and squishy and stuff. Um, so that's great, but I don't leave the deep on. I always keep the bright and the mid switch on. Um, and then I use the EQ to taste, depending on the room that I'm in. Um, you know, sometimes guitarists forget like, if your amp is, if you love your amp at home, but then sometimes you take it to a gig and you're like, why don't I get the same sounds? Every room's different. You kind of got to tweak the EQ. And I know this is like, duh moment. Um, I and mean, a lot of people are like, yeah, we know that, Mark. Um, which is great, but some people don't. They don't remember to like, you got to tune your amp to the room for each individual room. It could be glass along a whole wall. It could be, you know, wood floors, a lot of reflective surfaces. So you got to watch, you know, how you're using the amp that you have. Um, this one's super tweakable, so I love it. All right, let's mess with the EQ. I'm human. Sometimes the whole whole tone scale doesn't work. <laughs> um, so this kind of sounds good. I like where it is right now. Sometimes the bass, um, I usually have the bass up a bit in this room. Right now, the amp is sitting up on a, basically like a cabinet. Um, I have a vibration layer underneath of it, but it's gonna kind of, it's gonna be different because it's, it's elevated, it's closer to my ear, and it's sitting on a piece of wood, which is also sitting on a piece of cork. Um, but basically, I don't feel like I need more bass, but sometimes when it's on the carpet, I do. Um, I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me, though. So, 
Uh, let's mess with, I'll mess with the verb real quick and show you where I like to keep that. Super dry. Let's put some uh, compression on that. So it's a friggin' great amp. All right, let's do this real quick. I'm gonna mess with the, um, let me turn the compression off. And then let's just mess with the gain structure in the back. Uh, I'm gonna keep the, let's crank the gain just a little bit so maybe it's more um, noticeable. So here we go. Right now we're still in the Matt Schofield. Let's strum a couple chords and then I'll put go down to the, uh, black, the black panel amp and then back to Schofield and then up to T-Rap. Right, that's the black panel. Here's the Matt Schofield. Here's the traditional two rock.
back to the Schofield. <laughs> So there ye have it, uh, the Two Rock Studio signature. So you can probably tell the Schofield setting, um, I think, has more gain. Um, it's a little bit more, <gasps> um, and I like that about it. So check it out. I mean, if, if you are looking for a more affordable Two Rock, because I know they're pricey, and I am, feel very, very blessed to have bought this. Um, I sold many a thing to get it. And if you have a bunch of amps laying around and you want to get down to one amp to rule them all, as far as like the affordable two rock line, Studio Signature is the way to go. Definitely check it out. I love it. I absolutely love this amp. And I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's a great amp. Anyway, folks, I hope that helps. Maybe. I don't know, but I hope it did. Make sure you guys, you know, if you get a chance to play through one, mess, mess with those gain structure switch. That switch makes a big difference. And then tweak the EQ. See what you think. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you next time.